made a wee, but I'm gonna wait till after this. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. Today, I've got a vegan treat in store for you. I am gonna show you how to make my vegan Oreo drip cake. Super vegan, everything's vegan, super tasty. So let's get started. We're gonna make the sponges first, and they're really easy to do. I am gonna do them in some seven inch tins. I have my dry ingredients. So I've got some self-raising flour, some light muscovado sugar, some cocoa and I've got some baking powder in there and a little bit of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to combine all that together. And then I've got my wet ingredients. I have some boiled but cooled um, sort of hand hot warm water. I've got some oil in here, some vegetable oil, a teaspoon and a half of vinegar. So I'm going to add this to the dry ingredients. You kind of want it to be a little bit thinner than that. Sometimes I add another splash or two of just boiled water, just, just until it's slightly, just until it's about right. Again, with this, it's quite a nice recipe actually because it's not super exact. So if I ended up putting a couple of too many tablespoons in there, it would just bake off and it would be fine. So I just want to make sure that there's no dry powder left at all in my bowl. It's a fairly nice batter consistency. I've only got two of these seven inch tins, so I'm going to put two thirds into here and then I'm going to get one of the tins out and bake a third layer because I don't want them to be too thick. Level off the cake mixture. So they're ready to go in and for an extra little bit of Oreo-ness, I quite like to get some extra cookies and just crumble them and just plunge them into the mixture. Okay, so they are ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake them at 170 for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're completely cooked through. They shouldn't be wet inside, but they should still be spongy. So we shall come back when they are cooked. So I'm gonna create a Oreo sort of cookies and cream frosting. In my KitchenAid here, I have got some icing sugar and some vegan spread. I'm also gonna add some nice vanilla, vanilla bean paste, which I quite love clonk of that. So before I turn on my machine I've um, just dampened a tea towel just in case it explodes all over the kitchen and all over my face which would not be good so I'm just gonna put this on low. Would help if I turned it on. Silly sausage. So the powder has all disappeared. That is a nice soft whippy consistency. So now for the magic ingredient. I took a packet of Oreos and I just whizzed them up in the food processor. You could bash them if you wanted to. So I'm going to bosh this into there. So now I'm going to layer up my sponges. So just a nice generous layer splatted on there and just kind of level it off with your palette knife, just side to side motion. My second layer, place that on there. Just add some more frosting. Last layer, I'm just gonna turn it over so I've got the part that was in the tin in the base is gonna be my top so it's a bit smooth. Just go all the way around the side of your cake. So that's my first layer, it's a bit of a rough coat. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and just repeat that just to get a bit of a Anita layer. So I'm just gonna chill that for about 30 minutes. So my cake is chilling and while that's happening, I'm gonna make my ganache for my um, vegan chocolate drip. So I've got some dairy-free plain chocolate and a bit of vegan cream. And I'm just gonna microwave this for 30 seconds at a time until it all comes together and it's gonna be like a nice drippy, pipeable consistency. So I shall pop that in my micro. While that's happen happens, you can just do a dance. We were vegetarians for 10 years, um, so kind of used to that. Um, I think now with so many amazing substitutes for people, you know, all the different creams, the milks, everything, it's not quite so tricky. Lovely, that's looking good. So I'm gonna pop that in for another 30 seconds. It should be done by then. Oh, I think it's probably about ready. Ready for dripping over my cake. While that's chilling, I'm just gonna give my cake another little once over, and then when it's ready, we can add our drips and our biscuits. I'm just 
just going to straighten it off around here. I'm just going to add a nice little bit of Oreo crushed around the bottom. This is where I'm going to start my decoration. So I'm just going to build it up, just kind of like coming up the side of it. Just kind of roughly crumbling up the, crumbling the Oreos. So there we go. So I've got my ganache, just make sure it's not cooled down too much. It started to set, no, no, I think it's good. So I'm going to put my ganache into a piping bag just because when you're doing a drip cake, you can just pour it all over and allow it to drip with a spoon, but it kind of looks a bit better if you do it in a piping bag so you can kind of do some controlled drips. It just looks a bit better. The vegan ganache. Snip a small hole in the end of my piping bag. I'm just going to go all the way around the top edge, doing some kind of nice drippy bits and then flood it into the top. So now I'm just going to cut the bag a little bit more and just kind of cover the top. It doesn't need to be super neat again. If this is just a nice home style birthday cake. I'm just going to now use a palette knife. I'll go around the top. So I'm going to take my um, frosting that I made earlier and just add a little bit of that to a piping bag with a star nozzle just to make some fancy smancy little bits that I can stick my Oreos into. One, two, and I think I'm going to give him one in the middle as well. Pop those in there. Lovely. Super, super easy. Delicious. And that's going to impress anyone, not just your vegans, because it tastes really good, but perfect for a vegan birthday party. Everything you need to create this is just down there. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe and come back for even more. Bye!